you went on to beat an all-time, one of the modern-day greats in Roy Jones Jr. out in Russia. I want to talk to you a little bit, firstly, about the fight. Um, when, when the fight was announced, you was boxing Roy Jones. What was your, what was your initial feeling? What did, you, what did you think, Enzo, when that fight was made? Frank for me, I, I knew he'd, he'd had about seven or eight fights. He boxed Courtney Fry. I think he beat Courtney Fry quicker than I beat Courtney Fry. He'd been sparring some of the top boys in Russia. Uh, and he was looking good. He, he won a, a Cruiserweight world title. Um, you know, he, he came up short. So Frank for me, he said, look, I've had an offer of Roy George. Do, do you fancy it? I said, you know me, Frank. Yeah, of course I do. You know, I think Frank's gone on records. I've never, ever turned the fight down. Not one. Never right. question. Stupid, maybe. I can never even ask for money. Just to, just get on with it. But he said, yeah. So he flew out um, near Richard Maynard. He flew out to Russia for the press conference, get to Russia. We had like an hour was kept on the plane with all the time difference. Guess uh, I, I'm, a, I'm, I'm sort of uh, all over the place. It looks like I'm pissed off at times. I'm, I'm, uh, I'm, I'm sort of knackered. Um, and we're there, and uh, we're, in, we're in the hotel, and we had to be taken to this press conference. And we're in the same hotel, and I see Roy go out first, uh, and he goes, he goes out in a big Rolls Royce, picks him up, and me and Richard Maynard wait him in. I, I swear to God, it was a three-wheeler pick. <laughs> 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 Took us to the press conference, three-wheeler. Guests there, uh, you know, they, they're all over him. They, they barely look at me. He's like, um, you know, I, I'm an ex-world champion, whatever. Uh, and it, it was it was just mad. And, you know, it was just uh, crazy. A guest, guest of Russia. Uh, it, was a, it was a crash in London, so I, I had to wait in London for the day. I had to go back, go the next day. Um, Guess out there late, go straight to the, the public workout. When I went to the public workout, they see me hitting the pads. Uh, and I think they knew then, oh, fuck, we made a mistake by you. So I, I was looking sharp. Um, <laughs> guess, guess, the, guess the press conference, does the press conference. Guess the, the way in, goes to the way in. He's in before me to see the doctor. And the, the doctors are very, you know, they're very stringent. They make sure everything's okay. Uh, they spent about 25 minutes or 30 minutes with Roy. I'm, I'm still waiting. He sits me down. He says, Enzo. I said, yes. He said, you're okay. I said, yes. He said, good luck tomorrow. That, that was my medical. So guess who? Shook his hand at the way in. I pulled him towards me. I said, I said, it's an honor and privilege to fight you tomorrow. I said, but I will knock you out. And he, he laughed. And I said, promise you, I will knock you out. And that was it. Guess the fight. Um, we go in the changing rooms, there's bottles of water there for us, all opened up, ready, so we, we left them. We, oh, really? They all opened yeah. up? Oh. We just, just opened our bottles up and uh, I thought, oh, there's, 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 some, there's some funny stories about people boxing in Russia, mate. You don't eat their food, you don't drink their yeah, We didn't, we didn't. I brought all my food, we went out to restaurants, um, they had the water. Then, then they called me, they said, you're ready to go. Uh, so I guess, and, uh, and it's an ice arena, so we're in the ice arena and, it's freezing. It's absolutely freezing, and they made me wait for about thirty minutes uh, in the chain, in the in the foyer. Uh, didn't mind. I started punching the walls and stuff like that. Just get myself ready, keep sharp. Then they played me into the ring with bagpipe music. I haven't got a clue why bagpipe music. It must be the Mac thought I was Scottish or something. Like that. <laughs> so <laughs> guess the arena fight started. Knocks him out. Um, as I knock him out, obviously I see him go down. I tuck a knee in the corner and made a made a sign across. Um, and everyone thought that was because it was Roy Jones. That wasn't because it was Roy Jones. I just don't want to hurt anyone. I never wanted to seriously hurt anyone. I'd done, it, I'd done it loads of my amateur days. Uh, just don't want to hurt anyone. But as I'm on the, as I'm on the floor watching Roy Main Street, okay, I see this hand come in. Have you seen the film Blood Sport? Yes. You know when he, the, the cleaner comes in, yeah, 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 that yeah. gold tough. But it was this hand come in now, and it was one of my stable mates, Alex Hughes. And he, he robbed Roy Jones' gum shield off the camera. No way. As he's getting yeah. counted out, he, he's nicked his gum shield off the he, off he the floor. his gum shield. He was really? his hand coming in and he takes he, the gum shield. Has he still got it? He still got it. I heard he wears it to bed as well. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I'll tell you what, he'd get a few quid for that. Mate, but, 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 what was the feeling like, mate? Like, so... You've just knocked out Roy Jones. And for people that haven't seen it, go on YouTube, watch Enzo McAnally versus Roy Jones Jr. What a fucking devastating knockout it was, by the way. And he was proper gone for, for some time. 
What did you? What was your feeling then? Like you just knocked out one of the modern day greats. A lot of people would say, "Yeah, look, Roy was you know past his best, etc." But it, the name is still on the record. And what was your like? What was your feeling then? Was that was well, that must have been one of your most satisfying wins, surely? Um, yeah. Look, I'm a, I'm a boxing fan. I, I know what it's about, and. Um, I knew he was nowhere near as good as he was. He even told me that after. But I knew he was still good. Uh, I knew he'd been sparring a couple of top boys in Russia at the time, Cody Ashoff and them, who were very high regard and more than holding his own. So mm. I, I was under no illusion. I was brought there to lose. Mm. Um, and if I'm honest, Spence, the first thing that went into my mind when he went down, and I swear to God, I thought karma is a bitch. Now, <laughs> that, that, that karma was two years ago. No. It would have been six years ago in Vegas. I asked him for a photo and he didn't know me. He blanked me. Wow. So, you know, no, so six years prior, you're asking the guy for a photo <laughs> and then you're six years later, you're knocking him spark out. That's insane. Yeah, so like I say, karma is a bitch. No, yeah. I better, I better make sure I've got selfies with everyone who asks now, Spence. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, madness. What's down the road, dear? Wow. So look, you knock Roy Jones out, you get the victory. Now I want to ask you a question. It's a serious question. Go on. How did you make it out of the country? Fuck <laughs> it. I don't know whether they say too much. To be honest, I think they're still watching me. <laughs> well, I don't think we've got too many Russian listeners, mate, so I think you'll be all right. Okay, you I hope. Well, no, I mean, get to the corner. We're in the corner now, and Fra- Francis Warren, Frank son, he's there. And he shows me a message off his dad. Get out of there now. I, I, just get out of there now. What, so out of the arena? The room. Get out yeah, of the arena. Get, just get out of the arena now. So we, we get to the changing room and um, I can't think of the guy's name, but remember the film Showdown in Little Tokyo? Uh, Dolph Lundgren was in it, uh, Brandon Lee. Crack, cracking film anyway. He was one of the stars there. I watched it growing up. So he came in the change room to see us um, and we'd all there, all the boys were talking. I still had my top off. Um, next thing, this this biker gang come in, this Ru- Russian biker gang, B- big boys, right? They're big boys. So they're looking at us and they say, You come with us now. So they've gone, No. He said, Come with us now. I said, No. So it's a kid in there now and he, he's, he's filming for the TV and he's got one of these cameras and they're about 150, 200 grand, these big TV cameras. They pick him up and fling him against the wall, just, just smash the camera. So Liam Williams, boxer Liam, he's there. He's he sort of, I think he smashed the glass behind his back. He's saying, you know, if Angel's in by you, I, I'm in. Uh, Alex Hughes, who pinched the gum shield, he said, oh, I think I'd better wait outside. Check those. <laughs> uh, so they said, come up, come up with us now. And I got no. So he said, you come with us now. And they, they, got, they sort of got a bit of intimidating. So we, we started walking up um, up uh, the hallway of the arena. Uh, it was only about it was only about hundred yards, but it felt like about twenty minutes, half hour. Uh, halfway, we stopped, and Francis Warren has uh, said to me, "You know, I don't, I don't think we should be doing this." So I've gone. to oh, it's a bit fucking late now, isn't it? So <laughs> we can't, we can't even going up this corridor, and we go in Roy's changing room. So I see Roy in the corner. I, I go over to see him. Sack after oil, uh, so I've gone over to see him. Francis talking the promoter. Cut a long story short, Vlad Hernoff, the promoter, I think that's his name, he pretty much guaranteed a win for Roy Jones. So I think they pumped a lot of money uh, into the So Francis Warren and Vlad were having a little argument, left, right, and center. And the head of this biker gang is called the surgeon. I'm not asking why. I don't want to know why, but it doesn't sound good. I think it's self-explanatory, that man. Yeah, it doesn't done sound good. I don't think he was a doctor, to be honest. <laughs> um, so, Francis, Francis sort of talked everything over, you know, they smoothed it over, realised there was nothing over there. We, we come there to win uh, and stuff like that. Gets back to our hotel. There's, there's armed guards in the front of our hotel. Uh, I think Frank called someone out there for whatever put armed guards on the front of our hotel, guess the tree, guess in the hotel, the, the boys think, fuck this, what have you done to us now? They, they started smashing the cheesecake and the, and the champagne, all, all on the promoter. Alex Hughes, uh, can handle his champagne, can handle anything. At one point, he was in Moscow Airport, bollock naked, trying to get changed 
getting us through off him. Um, so we, 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 we fly. We were supposed to fly Sunday night, uh, home Sunday night, Saturday night at box, Sunday night we were supposed to fly home. We changed, we changed our, uh, our flight time to Sunday, 5 o'clock in the morning. We got the airport. As we get to the airport, I'm worried about Alex Hughes getting through the customs because he, he's pissed drunk. <laughs> he's he spewed on your, he spewed an under grand limo. If you do this swishing across the floor, it's fucking stinking. Uh, guessing, guessing through customs. All, all the boys behind the things, ah, oh, Enzo, are you not right? John's out all jumping out of the booth, slamming photos. Me, this is security now in a Rushmore Square airport, so they haven't thought it was me. Right? Next thing, Francis Warren gets a phone call. He said, um, it was the surgeon. So he's talking to, he's talking to Francis. He said, look, never mind what happened last time. Last night, he said, the Russian public loved Enzo. He said, we watched the TV. He's had time for everyone walking back to the, back to the change room. He had photos of everyone. Um, he said, we would love to have him outside here. Uh, have him back here again four or five times. You know, you make the same money he made for the Roy fight. So Francis Warren's looking at me now, pound signs in his eyes like that. And he's looking at me and I'm going, <laughs> you've got no chance. Twice I've been to Russia. Twice I knocked out the hero. Twice I'm lucky to be here, so no more. Yeah.